The United States is grappling with a significant reduction in its stockpile of air defense missiles, raising serious concerns regarding the Pentagon's readiness to respond to ongoing conflicts in the Middle East and Europe, as well as potential confrontations in the Pacific. This situation, detailed in a recent article by the Wall Street Journal on October 29, 2024, highlights the critical need for interceptors to counter missile and drone threats, particularly as demand surges from U.S. allies like Israel, which is currently facing escalating attacks from Iran and affiliated militias. Since the outbreak of hostilities following Hamas's attack on Israel in October 2023, the U.S. has deployed over 100 standard missiles, essential interceptors typically launched from ships, crucial for countering Iranian threats and Houthi attacks on Western vessels in the Red Sea. This rapid depletion of resources, exacerbated by recent Israeli strikes against Iran, has heightened worries about the U.S.'s ability to meet growing demands for these munitions, especially if conflict arises in the Pacific. In this context, the term standard missile refers to a series of air defense missiles developed by RTX, formerly Raytheon Technologies for the U.S. Navy, including the standard missile 2 SM-2, standard missile 3 SM-3, and standard missile 6 SM-6. These ship-launched missiles are vital for defending against a range of threats, from ballistic and cruise missiles to aerial attacks, and are integrated into naval defense systems to protect U.S. forces and allies, particularly Israel. SM-2, designed for medium-range air defense, the SM-2 can intercept aircraft and cruise missiles within a range of approximately 170 kilometers at speeds reaching Mach 3. SM-3, this missile is tailored to neutralize ballistic missiles during their exo-atmospheric phase, capable of reaching targets up to 500 kilometers away with a kinetic warhead. SM-6, combining anti-aircraft and anti-missile capabilities, the SM-6 excels at intercepting low-altitude cruise missiles and high-speed aerial threats, boasting a range of around 240 kilometers. Pentagon officials, while keeping stockpile data classified to limit strategic insights for Iran and its allies, have acknowledged the mounting pressure on resources. Pentagon spokesperson Sabrina Singh indicated that the Department of Defense is adjusting its posture to protect U.S. forces and support Israel, while maintaining focus on readiness and stockpiles. The increased rate of interceptor use poses challenges for responding to unexpected demands in both the Middle East and Europe. Furthermore, the defense industry faces constraints in expanding production lines, facilities, and qualified personnel. Elias Youssef, Deputy Director of the Conventional Defense Program at the Stimson Center, noted that the U.S. has not developed a defense industrial base equipped for prolonged attritional conflicts, complicating the current situation. Navy Secretary Carlos del Toro has called for increased production of standard missiles, although he acknowledged the complexities involved in producing such advanced munitions. The Pentagon is actively exploring alternative solutions, including engaging new companies to bolster production capabilities for air defense missiles. Despite recent increases in stockpiles, the launch rates observed in recent months have surpassed production capacity, according to defense analysts and officials. RTX manufactures a few hundred standard missiles annually, but these are also supplied to over 14 U.S. allies, which limits availability for the Pentagon. RTX spokesperson Chris Johnson stated that the company collaborates closely with the Department of Defense to meet production needs. Since the escalation of the Hamas-Israel conflict last year, U.S. ships have launched over $1.8 billion worth of interceptors to safeguard Israel and vessels navigating the Red Sea from Iranian threats. Typically, two interceptors are launched per incoming missile to ensure accuracy, leading to high costs to counter less sophisticated targets, such as Houthi drones. A congressional official highlighted that while these munitions are costly, they take months to replenish. In response to the situation, the U.S. deployed the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD system to Israel last month, enabling the use of various interceptor types alongside standard missiles. The Pentagon has also repositioned Patriot missile defense systems in the region, although their availability remains constrained due to commitments in Ukraine. While the Pentagon aims to maintain current production levels of standard missiles, it may need to reduce the output of older variants to finance newer models. The rapid consumption of interceptors in the Middle East, however, could jeopardize U.S. readiness for potential conflicts in the Pacific. Retired Rear Admiral Mark Montgomery warned that the extensive use of standard missiles risks undermining the Navy's preparedness for Pacific operations, highlighting the strategic implications of ongoing military engagements in the Middle East. As global tensions continue to rise, the Pentagon faces pressing challenges in balancing its commitments, ensuring readiness, and addressing the complexities of modern warfare and defense production.